Four tight, four tight, don't bounce. <sighs> yeah, I trained him. Come on. Like I said, guys, life goes on. Nothing has changed in my world. I'm still doing the same thing I used to do. Still a fitness trainer, still on the clothing business. Nothing has changed in my world except in your world, all you know is that I'm HIV positive now. I've lived with it for over 10 years. Nothing has necessarily changed. I'm actually enjoying it. People were asking me, how did you get it? Well, I don't know. It wasn't for my mom. So it wasn't through birth. So I haven't had it since birth. So, but I don't know when I got it. All I know is that around April 5th, 2005, I went to the hospital. I think it was Irvine. And uh, the next thing I heard is that I was mm, HIV positive. But um, once again, I don't want everyone to feel sorry for me. I'm more than happy and laughing and enjoying it. I actually believe it's a blessing from God to actually reach out and stop to spread this word and remove this disgusting um, stigma around it, on HIV and AIDS. And there's more to talk about that, but let me hit the set real fast, we'll talk. One more. Back in the day, I played victim to this disease. It actually kind of directed my life a certain way. But I'm sick and tired of that. I'm not about that life anymore. I'm taking control of my life. Like I said, I discovered my viral load when I was April. They discovered my viral load April 7th of 2005. It was 32,500, 32, meaning that's a lot. But cool thing about it, through treatment, medication, and being catered to by the awesome hospital in Long Beach, I brought it down to under 20. So in the hospital, they call that undetected. You're gonna hear my doctor say that. All right, check it out guys. The disgusting stigma I was talking about is, the first one is that HIV is only tied into gay men. I've actually gotten, sadly, a question if I was gay. Definition of gay, that I recall right, is means happiness. If that's what you're referring to, I am a very happy guy. Remember I said don't feel sorry for me? But I'm not a homosexual if that's what you're asking. I have nothing against him. But it's not just attack towards them, so please don't create that saying that only gay men have that. No. I, that's, no, everyone can get it. HIV does not discriminate. That's the first stigma I want to remove. The second stigma is the fact that HIV comes from HIV and AIDS come from Africa. That's a no-no. That's not true. As I said, HIV does not discriminate. It attacks everyone. Especially if you don't know about it, check, get yourself checked so you don't spread it among people who, who don't know. So you're not putting other people at risk. Last but least, this is a stigma that I really want to remove. A lot of people ask me, are you okay? Are you sick? Are you dying? No, I'm not. As I said, I'm still the same person as, uh, as it actually makes me laugh. Because before I said something, I was completely fine. I said something, I'm over on this side of the line, all of a sudden, I'm dying. No, I'm not dying. I'm living life as I'm supposed to be. And that's a stigma I want to remove. All those stigmas around HIV, I want them removed. Like, and that's why, I'm, that's why I came out and decided to do this. And that's another question I got, is like, why now? Because you know what, I'm sick and tired of people talking down about it. And most of the people who are talking about it are not really educated. And I don't blame them, because before I got it, I didn't have any education on it. And a lot of people I come across are not educated in it. So, um, so with a little bit of education, a little bit of awareness, people will kind of accept it, you know, a little bit more. And that's, that's what I really want. So people don't have to hide. And um, I want people to get more checked. Check on a daily, I don't care who you're with. If you've been with your boyfriend for years, get checked still. If you've been with your girlfriend for years, get checked, uh, get checked. If you're sexually active, get checked every three months, period. Um, so that's uh, pretty much, so we can help remove the stigma. The stigma, it leaves a really bad stain. And um, HIV is not that bad when it's, when it's taken care of. As you can tell, like, it doesn't have a face. It's not like, oh my God, 
I look HIV sick. No, it doesn't have a face. So um, you can actually be HIV and walk around life perfectly fine. And that's how it, it can be spread so fast because you can affect this person, it can affect this person. But when you're well medicated, medicated, <laughs> that's educated, educated and medicated. But I, I'm both. I'm educated. That's a word I just created. But um, uh, with medication and uh, treatment, which I get checked every three months. I used to get checked every day when I used to, I think I used to take up to four pills a day. So now I'm down to one. It's called Stribalin. And it's, I only want to take one pill a day. I take it at night because it's easier for me before I go to bed. Um, and that's how I'm, uh, it, it kissed me at undetectable. And that's, the, that's a cool thing. I only take one pill. You don't understand how big of a difference that makes in my life. Because, you know, if you take it in the morning, night, blah, 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 it gets confusing. But, um, and that's one thing I want to thank God for. I've never had a side effect, a horrible side effect to a pill. And that's, that's, that's a blessing because a lot of people get side effects to pills and they have to get switched from pill, pill to pill. And I, I, my body reacts to the, to, the, um, to the medication so well. I'm so blessed. So, um, if you have any other ideas of how to conquer and raise awareness around our community, our families, and around everyone, let me know so we can get it on this channel and help people raise awareness around HIV and remove that stigma stain. I want that stigma gone. And um, have a blessed day. And um, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me, ask me any questions you want. Have a blessed day. Remember, I still want to get on the Ellen Show, so please hashtag Ellen DeGeneres Show, tag Ellen DeGeneres Show. Do whatever you can to get me on that show. I played the waiting game for a long time. I waited for somebody to step up and take this role. Little did I come to realize that the role was set up for me. So I stepped up because God gave me this role. And I'm going to make sure I conquer it and make sure everyone out there knows that about HIV and AIDS. I'm gonna reach as many people as I can. And I really want the stigma gone, so it's not a big deal for people like me to stay in hiding. I don't wanna stay in hiding. I don't want someone else to stay in hiding because I waited for somebody to come out and tell people this. But you know what, I'm gonna do it myself. I'm taking charge. I think it's Gandhi who says, be the change you wanna see in the world. So I'm gonna leave you on that note and have a good one, all right? I'm gonna hit this workout.